Hi guys, it's Amy here, and today we're going to be looking at tests, and more specifically, we're going to be looking at grading essay questions in tests. Um, so it's it's they're not auto marked like your multiple choice. So we'll have to go into Blackboard, and I'll show you guys how to do this. So what I've done is I've created an essay question test here, and I've had some of my fake students create um, submit work to it. So to find their work, there's two places I can go. I can go to the full grade center. If you have a lot of tests and a lot of students, it can be quite hard to navigate and find the, the one that you're after. Um, luckily, I don't have too many, but the easier way to find it is actually under what's called needs grading. So under needs grading, we'll just show you work that needs graded. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once you've graded something, it will remove itself from here, whereas once you've graded something, it stays in grade center. Um, so sometimes that's why it can be harder to navigate because you're having to navigate through the students that have been graded and the students that haven't been graded, whereas this just shows you the students that haven't been graded. So sometimes that's a bit easier. Um, so here we have, I've got two students that have taken it. So I can click individually onto the, the student's name to, to grade this, but there are other ways of grading as well. So I can grade with their usernames hidden. So if I don't want to know who's um, submitted the work, I can go through it with the usernames hidden. I can also um, grade by question. So uh, this essay has two questions in it. So if I choose grade by question, I can either mark all of the question ones or I can mark all of the question twos. So this is sometimes is a nicer way of doing it. It just means that um, rather than having to go, if, especially if you have more than one or two questions, if, say you've got 10 essay questions, Rather than having to go one, two, three, four, five, and then start again through the rest of it, I can mark question one for every student and then mark question two for every student. And it just means uh, I might end up being a bit more consistent with my marking. So I'll go in and I will mark this way. So I know there's two responses for this one, because I've got two students, and I can see the number here too. So I can select this. And uh, what it will do is it will let me see what the uh, students said and I can go and um, mark this. So if I go into here and choose edit, I can then go and give them a grade for that. So out of two points, I can give them grade for their response. If I actually just come out and come out again, if I click onto the student's name, I can see um, sometimes this is a little bit nicer because I can see a little bit more detail. So um, I can see the given answer and then I can also see an example what the correct answer might include. Um, so if you've set up your essay question to be done this way um, to, to show what the correct answer is, then I can view that as well as their given answers. So the given answer was this and the correct answer should include these kind of things. So I can then give any feedback if I need to, and then also give them the score. So for this one, I'm going to say one out of two for this one. And then for this one, the given answer should include these kind of information, that kind of information. And I feel like this one does. So I'll say two. And then I can hit save and next. Um, I can also navigate through these two arrows here. Um, to, to mark the student. So uh, if I go back to the one I have marked, the one I have marked now has a green tick, but I can amend this mark if I need to. And then I can go, and the one that I haven't marked has this uh, needs grading icon, which is a yellow circle with an exclamation point in it. Uh, but once I, I give them their grades, there we are. And again, I can give them feedback if I wish to. Um, there's also extra feedback that can be given. So feedback to learner, that's overall feedback on all of the questions. The feedback boxes here, these are individual to each question. This is for overall feedback for, for the whole of the, the test. And then grading notes. Grading notes are for other instructors, other lecturers, um, in internal verification. That kind of thing is where, where you can add any. So why have you awarded them points? Uh, you can add that information there and then just hit save and exit. And now I've got zero items to grade. It's gone straight into the grade center, what their marks will be now for that test. So if I go to the grade center, there we go. 
they have now got their scores immediately in there. So it's quite quick and easy to get into to start marking them. Obviously, if you have more questions, it will take a little bit longer to mark. I had less questions, so obviously um, less to mark there. So again, we are contactable via email. We've got Ian, David, and myself. You can also get us on Microsoft Teams. Uh, we like Teams because it's quick and easy for us to chat, and we can also use video and screen sharing if we must. Um, just a reminder as well that we have the Digital Futures Toolkit. Um, so the toolkit has guides on using Turnitin, Blackboard Test assignments, as well as other tools that we use in the college like Office. Um, but the best bit is it actually has the student side of a lot of these things. So if your students are struggling with anything, please let them know about the toolkit because they'll find some help guides there that's available to support them. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll let you get on. Hope you have a good day.